All right, let's talk about the weather tomorrow as today very quiet, but be ready for that heat to return in earnest. And we're talking about uh, well, well, whether you live in Ernest or Fargo, it's going to be hot out there. Temperatures in the 90s for many of us. So we want to remember to remind you to check that back seat for pets and kids. Don't overexert yourself and find ways to stay cool. Late day storms after the dinner hour. A couple of those could be on the side of strong, maybe even severe. We'll keep you ahead of that game, but some big changes heading our way. Best chance of storms where you see the dark green colors here. Northern Valley through the FM area and into Lakes Country. That does include you in Bemidji as well as Thief River Falls and Red Lake Falls right now. Fair weather. Cumulus clouds drifting overhead on a gorgeous evening where it is 79 at Moorheads Airport. We're at the high of the day in Fargo right now. 78 is great with a south southwest wind at 10 miles per hour. Here is a look at temperatures elsewhere to the east. We have mid 70s for many, low 70s in Faustin and Detroit Lakes, a very comfortable 73 degrees. 78 for Grand Forks as well. And we are in the 80s from Hallock and Langdon straight down through the James River Valley into Aberdeen. The air over us dry. Dew point in Fargo 39 degrees. And again, when we have dew points in the 30s, we won't get much rain out of any storms that form in this dry air. And we are expecting these numbers to go up as we go into the day tomorrow. Here is a look at what we do have drifting through the region from Winnipeg through Lake of the Woods and Duluth. A line of clouds with passing sprinkles. The rest of our area, very quiet thunderstorm watch issued for Omaha, Nebraska in toward Des Moines, where we do have a line of thunderstorms developing on a boundary there. Here is a look nationally, very quiet till we get to the east coast of Florida as a, well, an exiting cold front continues to bring much relief to the heat and humidity in the southeast. Speaking of heat, check out the big sky country of Montana. Glendive, Montana, 92 degrees, and we have upper 80s across western Dakotas. For tonight, quiet conditions with light winds. Get out and enjoy. It's going to be so comfortable out there overnight. We expect quiet conditions to continue, but look at this. Hutch's wind arrows pop on. We'll have breezy south winds by morning. Those south winds begin transporting some air with more moisture in it to fuel spotty showers. Once again, same location from Hallock and Roseau right down through the Bemidji area toward Duluth. Uh, same song goes as we've had the last couple of days. By the lunch hour, almost all of us will be in the 80s. A hot one. Yellow wind arrows. Gusts. Gusty winds, 35 miles per hour, and through the afternoon, the heat continues with most of Lakes Country in the 80s, and we could see triple-digit heats in Dickey County and down towards Brown County, South Dakota, will be the best chance of that. Then, after dinner, we'll have a chance of some thunderstorms popping up, and with this heat, we could see a couple of them become severe. Hail and gusty winds would be the main threat, and look at this, they're passing through in the late evening hours and bedtime. So for four o'clock in the afternoon, a snapshot of your hometown shows near 90 across western Minnesota and 95 to 100 for many of our western counties. We'll be sizzling here in Fargo at right around 90 degrees. Smoke on the water. Tara captured this on Tulabee Lake as well, warm water and the very cold air we have in the mornings here allows for rapid evaporation and it forms what we call evaporation fog or steam fog over the warm water body. Here's a look at your temperatures on Thursday. Relief with spotty showers moving in with a rumble of thunder from the west. Most areas stay dry. Cooler still on Friday, Andrea, and then the weekend returns some summer-like heat as we enjoy 80s, but we will have a chance for some passing showers in the forecast as well. We'll keep you up to date on that. We start out the work week next week with temperatures that will be in the low 80s and seasonable for this time of the year. Okay, thank you, Hutch. A battle is brewing.